How are you doing today, folks? Now, before we get started, I want to remind everybody we're doing a $1,000 giveaway for 1,000 subscribers. So definitely stay tuned for that. Going to be something absolutely crazy, big, badass, beautiful, custom, similar, if you want it, to what's in here. This is a package from Russia. I've waited a long time to get this. I am so excited. It's been shipping for over a month. So, and this package was all tore up. So I'm surprised it even got here. So inside the bag, we have a suspicious black pouch. I have no idea how to cut this. So I'm gonna just try to be very careful with the Paragon Knives Warlock unboxing knife. In the black pouch, we have a white pouch. Man, shout out to the maker. You know who you are for really taking care of this piece. Do, 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 do. And there's your background music, folks. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> it looks like a giant burrito or like a hot potato. That is amazing. And there's more. Oh my god. This is actually going to be one of those videos where I just do the jump cut, but there's so much in here that this is actually pretty entertaining. So, this is the box that never ends. So, first things first. Very cool, very high quality keychain. Well, there's a spoiler for what it is. Or an idea of what it is. So the magnet, COA, in Russian. And whew, there we go. So this is the Chebikov Knives Bear. It's not a really released model. You can definitely find them, though they are definitely quite, quite difficult. So let's check this bad boy out. Oh yeah. First flip. Perfect. That is incredible. So I knew the knife was going to be amazing, but I just want to take a second to check out the sheath. Wow, this thing is really, really high quality. I am blown away. Um, I've done quite a bit of leatherworking in my life. I'm by no means good at all, but I definitely know what hand tooled leather is and hand stitching. And this is this is not some random cheap machine made piece of crap. This is something absolutely beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, take a look at this monster. This is a 4.5 inch blade of CPM S60V. This has a proprietary heat treat to where the actual knife itself, just the generalized kind of blade, um, is heat treated to a 58 and the actual edge is heat treated to a 63. And from what he said, um, it will allow you to basically be able to cut pretty much forever. Um, S60V does have some immediate downsides, it's very, very chippy, tends to kind of not be the best EDC friendly steel. But supposedly, because of his heat treat, this thing is supposed to be an absolute laser beam and last forever. But, as always, we will find out. Let's take a moment to take a look at these scales, which are really absolutely beautiful. Um, these knives are very much akin to Shigorov's, um, but in my humble opinion, I think they're better. You have these beautiful bronze accents. It's kind of toned... Uh, very light bronze it's very very subtle it's almost like a 3d effect you can only see it in certain angles very cool titanium backspacer titanium clip absolutely incredible aesthetics i love this thing now as everybody knows who watches this channel i don't care how much it costs this is a full custom knife it's definitely not cheap however we use everything here and this thing is absolutely phenomenal. You can literally shave cardboard. 
that is insane. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love, I love this knife so far. Now, as I said previously, this is a big ass knife. This thing dwarfs the Medford and I love it. Oh, I love this knife. Spoiler alert, I love this fucking knife. Here are a couple more EDC friendly size comparisons. Again, this is a big ass knife. Now at 7.4 ounces, this might not be the most EDC friendly knife for most folks. However, I am not most folks. I am absolutely going to carry and use the holy hell out of this knife. And speaking of which, all right, now thanks for the magic of editing, three days have passed. I've carried this knife, I've used this knife, and I've really loved this knife. But the main thing I have to say about this piece is that despite its overall size, footprint, and weight, this thing carries like an absolute dream. It's very thin in the pocket despite its massive stature. It also is perfectly balanced. It does not bounce around in your pocket or do any of that jingly crap that some certain knives do. I am overall very, very impressed with how this knife carries. I actually forgot that I was carrying a massive knife multiple times. That just doesn't happen, folks. For me personally, that just does not happen. And on top of that, this thing has absolutely phenomenal ergonomics it holds so effortlessly in the hand it is insane if you want to bear down on it there's no real hot spots to speak of everything is very smooth and nicely chamfered but also if you just want to hold it it just naturally it fits the grip perfect and it's just an absolute dream to carry to hold in hand to use I really cannot specify and stress how much this knife has surprised me. I was expecting good things, maybe even great. This is a bit beyond that. Now, how much beyond? Well, folks, my score for this knife is going to be a 10. I've carried this knife for three days. I've used it for three days. It's actually very close to being four days at this point in time. It's pretty late at night right now. And I really just have no complaints. The aesthetics to me are absolutely beautiful. I love the handle, I love the finishing, I love the bronze hardware, I love the pocket clip, I love the way it carries, I love all of the aesthetic pieces to it. The blade is an absolutely incredible cutter. As you can see, it actually has relatively thin blade stock for it being as big as it is, and it's very thin behind the edge. So despite all of those things, it just is an absolute dream. Again, most bigger knives, they don't cut the best. I carry them so I like bigger knives, but this thing, I, I'm just blown away. Um, again, 10 out of 10, it's an absolutely perfect knife. If you happen to have smaller hands, I probably can't recommend this, but if you do happen to have, again, my big O size 2XL hands, they'll wrap around perfectly and you'll hold it and you will just fall in love. Um, <laughs> with all that being said, folks, um, I have a new favorite knife. The Chebikov Bear is incredible, absolute perfection, 10 out of 10, zero problems. Now, I'll go ahead and do an actual review for this knife in a couple of months. Um, we'll see how this S60V Edge held up, but so far, so absolutely incredible. I am, I am just genuinely blown away. So again, 10 out of 10, perfect score as far as first impressions go. I'll keep you updated down the line for anything else. But as always, folks, I love you all very, very much. Thank you for your time. Like, support, subscribe, your comments. You mean the absolute world to me. Please take care. Please be kind to one another. And I love you all. Bye.